Hey guys, my name is Els Marshall and welcome back to Hey Guys. We've got loads coming up for you guys today. So we've got Joella's new book, we've got Farting on the Plane, we've got Fergie singing a madness. Right, let's go. First of all, Zoella's announced a new book coming out called Cordially Invited. It feels so weird saying it out loud because I've not been able to talk about this. I am writing my first non-fiction book. So this book is about hosting, you know, so hosting Christmas parties, birthday parties, Halloween parties, every party you can think of. Big things, you know what I'm saying? I'm not messing about. When I do parties, I do parties, yeah? I might need Zoella for some help though, I'm not gonna lie. When I buy this book, I'm expecting some good tips. Obviously, you know, I need to know how to like, do some cupcakes, you know what I'm saying? I've got to have a derb going around the party and that. So I want balloons, yeah? The balloons is very important, like, it makes the whole party lit. So we've got popping balloons, it goes crazy. So how do I block that 100 balloons, yeah, without fainting? Zoella, you need to teach me this, bruv, yeah? It's probably written already, I'm just praying that you put it in there, okay? Thank you. So we're out here in the streets of Camden and we're going to see what people think about the new Zoella book which is coming out. Let's do this. You know about YouTube? About what? YouTube. YouTube? Anyway, you know about Zoella? Yeah. Zoella? Nah. Nope. Zoella? Nope. Kinda, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know any Spanish but you're going to have to try and understand me. It's coming out of a new book. It's just about hosting parties. You think you're going to buy that book? No. Oh, no, I'm okay. Where'd you buy it? No. Oh, that's great. Zoella, you've got customers already. Oh, but nice. you look like a type of guy that watched Zoella, though. The weather, I don't trust. Huh? No, it just wouldn't know. So, do you know how to host parties yourself? England, so we always ready. Whatever comes up, rainy or whatever it is. Who would actually call up Zoella or email her, innit? Realistically. Maybe I would ask her. You'd, you'd let Zoella organise your party? Yes. Why? Because she's the best. I just, I don't know if she'll be the best at hosting parties, really. I'm, I just say the weather. We're not talking about the weather. Yeah, we're talking about the weather. I was like, boo. You can host our own parties. Yeah. Do you like parties? Uh, Parties. Yeah. Parties. Yeah, parties. What is going on? We can yeah. ourselves in that department. Yeah. If I could just rent out a really massive place, I'd have the best party. What would you have at your party? Drinks. Jager yeah. bombs lined up. Music. Music. <laughs> what's, what's that? What's regular, regular tongue? R&B, hip hop. You don't know? Hey. Beyonce, yeah. Yeah, yeah, get lit. I love balloons, so they'd 100% be there. Girls in bikinis. Mm. You need that for a party, don't you? On pyjamas. That's very different. I haven't heard anyone say that before. <laughs> Oh. Mm. There's a market in Camden that sells food. Sells food? Yeah. I don't want on my food. There's food, there's food everywhere in Camden. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Did you guys hear about the plane that had to land because someone kept farting? You heard me right. Someone kept farting, so the plane had to land. If some guy kept on farting. The guy behind him or beside him just didn't like it. So a fight broke out. They can't have fights in the plane. You can't do that. Obviously, they had to do a landing and sort out the fight afterwards. If someone did that, you know, kept on fighting, you know, I'd have to have a conversation with them. Can you just start, you know, fighting? Can you go to the toilet and start fighting there? Just, just go in the toilet the whole journey because I can't deal with it. You know what I'm trying to say? Please don't fart on a plane, yeah? This is where people sleep. Eat, watch movies, you know. There's no windows, so why would you fart? There is windows, but they're not open, okay? You can't just air out the fart. Quite a long flight as well, Dubai to Amsterdam, I'm trying to say. Just go to the toilet, okay? That's all you need to do, yeah? And then there won't be no fights, you won't have to land, you won't have to waste all everyone's time, get another plane or go back to the plane. Let's go to the toilet, please. Just, just do everyone a favour and just go to the toilet and fart there. The next one! Fergie was all over Twitter this week after this All-Star NBA performance. Man like LeBron James, you know, Steph Curry, all the NBA players, even celebrities like Chance the Rapper, you know, there's Jimmy Kimmel, they all just started creasing. Snoop Dogg's calm though, celebrities, they're just moving a bit immature. You know, Fergie could have her feelings, you know what I'm saying? She sees that video, what's she actually gonna feel? Let's go and have a look. We're gonna find out what the public think about Fergie's performance at an all-star NBA match. Let's do this. Now, have you watched Fergie's uh, performance at the NBA? Yeah. Did you watch that? Yeah, I did. What did you think of that? I'm sorry, but it was pretty bad. Oh, did you watch Fergie's performance? Like she was singing, yeah, yeah. The, the NBA. Yeah, I really like Fergie. Did you like her singing? She's okay. Uh, that doesn't sound, anyway, what about you? I didn't watch it. Would you hire Fergie, Fergie yeah. at your party? For the um, first part? The, the, so you'd have Fergie at your first part of your party, the, the second part? The second part is... Oh, it's that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one, yeah. Oh, it's good, it's it's I good. like, I like. You like Maggie in that? Yes. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Are you the type of guy to start laughing or like contain yourself? If you watch that live, did you start laughing? I started laughing. Did you start laughing? Yeah, I did. You, did you watch it? Yeah. So what did you think of it? Uh, 
Yeah. It's a bit different. Like, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. yeah, sing, sing that. No. It's like, oh. Yeah, you got the vocals, you know. I think you're better than Fergie, to be honest. Probably. You're on, bruv. You're already on. It's done. It's finished. It's too late. It's too late to apologize. <laughs> it's too late. Eh. Is it too late now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's too late. I missed it, but I heard a lot about it. Yeah, it's a bit mad. Like, would you let her sing at your party? Yeah, definitely. You think so? Why? Because I'm in Hey, don't do that. Hey, anyway. She can sing that. Yeah. That's for sure. Ooh. Ooh. An orphan baby elephant got adopted by a dog and now they're best mates. So the baby elephant was found without its parents weak and got rescued and brought to the shower. This is where the baby elephants became best mates with the dog. I'm sorry, but this is probably the cutest thing I've seen this year. I ain't seen nothing like this before. This is crazy. You know, an elephant, a wild animal, and a dog being friends. What? So I wish I had an elephant in my house, but my house would be mashed up, yeah? My room would be always messy, but at the same time, yeah, when my girl doesn't want to cuddle, I can just cuddle my elephant, you know what I'm trying to say? The amount of food I have to feed that, it's crazy. I can't even go KFC down the road now, because it's shut down. I don't know how much food we need, yeah? I might have to research, might have to do some research about elephants and that, but in the meantime, these two seem just fine together. Sex on it. This is the key. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. Make sure you follow at MTV UK and at Ells Marshall One. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. <laughs>